all this today. It was a big night for Whitney Houston, Sting, and movie music at Tuesday night's Grammy Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this. Was it the Grammys or the Oscars? The music industry's big award show had a Hollywood slant as music from Whitney Houston's debut film, The Bodyguard, won her three Grammys, including Record of the Year and Song of the Year. For his work on that project and the soundtrack of Sleepless in Seattle, producer of the year David Foster garnered four Grammys, and Disney's Aladdin conjured up a bundle of honors for composers Alan Menken and Tim Rice. Chairman Clive Davis to the podium to share her Best Album Award for The Bodyguard. The 36 Grammys turned out to be a very big night for Clive Davis. I'm Mitchell Fink, and by my count, the number of times Clive was thanked from the podium ranked second only to God. I'm ready, yeah. I wish Whitney would get here so we could start the rehearsal. Yeah. Whitney's night tonight, and she deserves it. As you just saw, it was a huge night in New York last night. Hi, everybody. I'm Mary Hart in Hollywood, and we do have lots of entertainment news from Hollywood as well. But, of course, the top story was New York, where John Tesh braved the cold to tell us about the hottest in music at the 36th Annual Grammy Awards. John? Thanks, Mary. Every year, there is that grim smile, and the star says, it's an honor just to be nominated. But what every star really wants to do, of course, is win. And here is Leanza Cornette with some of those who did. Leanza. And the I will always love you, Whitney Houston. The Bodyguard, original soundtrack album, Whitney Houston. When you're Whitney Houston and you walk away with the top awards of the night, who are you going to talk to? Who else? Entertainment Tonight. What a phenomenal night for you. Yes. You've got to just, this is it. This is, you're on top of the yeah. world. This, this is it. <laughs> I, I feel like this is it for me, musically. You know, sure. having a baby was the most incredible thing I've ever done, but this is really very special. I can't tell you how I... What's a night like tonight? I mean, what do you do after this? It's got to be like the pinnacle. Well, I tell you what, the, 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 the nervous part is over. I mean, I was... Uh, a back of nerves all night, you know, sitting on pins and needles and stuff. But now it's over. Now it's time to have fun and, and party with friends and people that love you. So what do you do with your Grammys? You've got enough of them now. So uh, one goes. I'm giving one to my mother. Yeah, because um, she's the reason why I sing. You know, um, she's my greatest inspiration. So um, the pop female vocal goes to mom because nice. she's 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 my pop female vocal. Pop diva Whitney Houston picked up the first three Grammys for the runaway hit from the Bodyguard soundtrack, I Will Always Love You. I loved the lyric. I loved what it said. I, I loved... Um, I knew what, how I could interpret it. And I knew that um, if I sang it, it would come from my heart and my soul, you know. I mean, everybody can understand I'll always love you. Yeah, it gets sweeter. It gets better. Um, I think I'm more nervous than I've ever been in my whole career. I don't know why, but this is just a very intense night. Um, probably a, a round off for the whole whole 93, 94 year for me. So it's very special. It really is very special. Not only record of the year, but album of the year as well went to Whitney Houston for the Bodyguard soundtrack and the hit single, I Will Always Love You. It came as no real surprise since the album sold over 10 million copies. When they called, when they called the name, I was sitting there and I, I was going, did they say David and Whitney? <laughs> I, I didn't really, you know, didn't really hit me. Um, this is very special, you know, it just, just says a whole lot to me, you know. I just do music, you know, wherever it goes, it goes, you know. Um, I, I'm, I'm planning on doing a gospel album. That's wild and crazy. Let me do you my impression of Whitney singing in the studio. Okay, hold this for a second, baby. Stop. She's just filmed The Bodyguard for 12 hours. She's dead tired. She walks in. She goes like this. And, uh, and she just steps up and goes like a racehorse because she's a thoroughbred. And 
Just There's saying. no more to say about it. She's just the but greatest. But he is. He. I didn't even. I. I. I it was Kevin's idea, and, and Kevin even said, uh, you know, have Whitney sing the first part without music. And I said, God, that's a terrible idea. Maybe for your film, but not for my record. It ain't gonna be that way. Then she was in Miami, and no. she goes, I said, do the first is, bar. This is a great idea. The first bar. E and I win. This is it. There's no other way. You couldn't possibly put music to this.